Hindu undivided family HUF consists of the karta as the head of family and all family members as co-parents An HUF includes a common ancestors descendants including wives and unmarried daughters Buddhists Jains and Sikhs can form HUFs An HUF is automatically formed when marriage takes place but for the purpose of an HUF to be a separate income tax assessee there needs to be a minimum of two co-parents That means if an HUF consists of husband and wife it will not become a separate assessee under income tax laws Once a child is born there will be karta and two co-parents Let us explore how this HUF can become a tax saving tool for the family An HUF must be formally registered in its name. It should have a legal deed. The deed shall contain details of the HUF members and the business source of income of the HUF. A PAN number and a bank account should be opened in the name of the HUF. An HUF is taxed at the same rates as an individual is. All deductions and exemptions available to individuals are also available to an HUF. Let us see by an example how one can save tax using HUF. After the death of his father, Ram Sharma inherited property held by his father. Suppose his taxable salary income, net of all deductions, is 20 lakh rupees and rent from house property is 9 lakh rupees. After standard deduction of 30% on the income from house property, the total taxable income of Sharma is 26.3 lakh rupees. For simplicity, let us assume that there are no other deductions under section 80 that Sharma is eligible for. In this case, the tax liability of Sharma determined using the individual tax slab is 6.25 lakh rupees including cess. Suppose Sharma had opted to transfer the inherited property to his HUF comprising himself, wife and two children. The property, since it is ancestral, can be considered an HUF's property. Let us see the tax outflow in this scenario. Sharma's taxable total income would be 20 lakh rupees and tax thereon would be 4.9 lakh rupees. The HUF is taxed as a separate entity and the taxable income of the HUF would be 6.3 lakh rupees and tax thereon would be 0.40 lakh rupees. Sharma can save tax of 1.56 lakh rupees. In the same example, if we go a step further, the HUF should claim deduction under section 80C 80D of up to 1.3 lakh rupees say by way of investing in specified mutual funds payment of life insurance premium of co-parents etc hence the net taxable income of the HUF will be 5 lakh rupees and no tax liability on this income will arise thus sharma can save tax of 1.86 lakh rupees It is pertinent to note that income from the transfer of a self-acquired asset without adequate consideration or conversion of the same into joint family property shall not be treated as the income of the HUF. For instance, Yash purchased a house property for 1.5 crore rupees and earns rental income of 4 lakh rupees per annum on the same. Every year, Yash invests the 4 lakh rupees of rental income in a bank fixed deposit. and earns interest of 28000 rupees his salary income is 20 lakh rupees can yash transfer the house to his huf without any consideration and save tax if the self acquired property of an individual is converted into joint family property without adequate consideration the income derived by the joint family from such a property shall be included in the total income of the individual who own the property Hence even if Yash transfers the house to the HUF the rental income will be charged to tax as Yash's income and he will not be able to save tax but the interest of 28000 rupee will be taxed as income of the HUF and not clubbed as Yash's income hence he will be able to save a minuscule amount of tax on the interest portion